Hello, everyone. So we are on our fifth topic, which is current resistance and EMF. Okay, so this will actually be a bit content overload for you. That is because I'll be introducing lots of concepts later on. Pero, kaya rin niyo. Kaya, not my choice. <laughs> and that is the reason why you are, I think you are watching this video. Okay, so yes, we are going to discuss about current resistance and EMF. Okay, so first we'll go to the current. What is current? Okay, so current is any motion of change from one region to another, or it is the flow of your electric charge through a circuit. It is actually measured in amperes or its unit is in amperes usually symbolizes as a a rato yung hat ibutang sa yaha like 10a 5a 25a you know so it is actually it is also defined as the amount of charge that passes through a given point in a circuit per unit of time so it means it is charge per time that is current now current has a symbol of i do not be confused i is the symbol of current and a is its unit unit niya. okay so i is equal to the charge per unit of time Okay, now electric current can flow through conductive materials, what we call conductors, such as wires. Wires are usually made up of metals, as we have discussed before in our previous lessons in the, I think it's like Coulomb's law, na part, na metals are very good conductors because they have free electrons. Okay, now for electric current to flow, it requires complete circuit or path for your electrons to flow. So, dapat completo ang imuhang circuit. But how do we know, or how will we know, na completo ang imuhang circuit or imuhang path for current to flow? So, first, what is electric circuit? Electric circuit is um, a path kung asa mo follow ang imuhang mga charge. Para makaform sila og loop, what we call a closed loop. Remember, this is a closed loop. So, dapat walay open sa ato ang circuit. Any devices, any components, any wirings, walay open sa ilaha para mo flow ang imuhang current. Okay? So, that is what we call electric cur uh, circuit. Now, we only need three, actually. We only need three. A simple circuit only needs three. First is your source. Source is the one that provides your um, energy, gives your energy or electricity. So that is, let's say, battery, generator. You know, so in your hong saksakanan, you can sa power grid, you can sa aneko, mauna siya si source. Next is si load. Si load. Load as in like load, nagpaload ka. Uh, L O A D. Naman na si source, that is your battery. Next is load. Now, load is the one that spends the energy provided by your source. So, dapat, if nakay stig supply, dapat na apoy mo spend ato imuhangi supply. And that is what we call load so load is those can be devices that uses current such as bulbs lamps motors computers okay mga gadgets they are the devices that uses your uh, electrical energy or your electricity that is why they are called load cool. next is the wire that connects them. So wiring, as you can see here, we have the load, which is a bulb, our source, which is a battery. And to connect the load and the source, we have our wires or the connecting wires. 
transmission lines. Okay, so those are actually what we just need in a simple circuit. Okay, so more na siya actually. Kaso lang, na po yung mga complex na mga circuit. Let me change. Okay, marag. Let's change. Okay. So, na yung uban na mga circuits na need nila og lain na yung mga device. Anyway, those devices can, like, capacitor. It is actually a kind of load too because the kuha ba yung like charge. So, either way, it is like um, a load. Resistors components other components that can be found in circuits so they are like um, a load so now there are two basic laws that um, describe the performance of your electric circuit so that is actually ohm's law and the kirchhoff's rule okay but we will focus more <clears throat> sorry we will focus more on ohm's law okay so for today we are going to discuss the Ohm's law after, siguro, after the res oh no, wait, after the resistance. Yeah, after resistance. Okay, so we have here the conventional current. Conventional current is, uh, or assumes that current flows out of positive terminal through the circuit but along the circuit na to wait lang ha so from the positive terminal padulong sa circuit then pabalik sa ato ang source so then that padulong dayon sa ato ang negative okay so mo na siya si conventional current now that is like assumption na lang before okay conventional current is from positive to negative but the real thing is electrons are the one that flows that is why we have free electrons divide if you have remembered or if you have seen my or listened to my discussion about this conductors about conductors remember nino na naate free electrons and the electrons are the only ones that is free enough or free charge na maka lihok lihok na siya from atom to atom. Okay. So, electric flow or electricity is actually like this one. Electric flow is actually what happens and electric flow out of the negative terminal because it is electrons, of course. So, negative terminal, padalong sa imuhang circuit, then pabalik sa imuhang positive terminal sa source. That is electric flow. So, the difference between two Conventional current is from positive to negative. Electron flow is negative to positive. Mauna siya ang ilahang kinalihaan. Okay. Now, let's go back to the current. Current is said to be the number of charge that passes through a point per second that is, that uses the symbol I. No? So, si current, symbol niya is I, as I have been said before. Pero ang iyahang unit is ampere or A. In honor of a French scientist, Andre Marie Ampere. Okay? So, say contribution ni Ampere. Contribution of Ampere involves about electromagnetism. So, na, um, bale, ang na discover niya is if you have an electric field or you have electricity maka-induce ka og magnetic field and if nakai magnetic field you can induce electricity or electric field and vice versa no nga na so bali na pag isa niya ang duha ka book ng concept the electricity and magnetism it becomes electromagnetism and that is actually a great thing to discover because without that wala tay television wala tay radio wala tay mga electromagnets okay so mo na siya na big ang iyahang let's say iyahang discovery iyahang experiment okay so this is current that is charge over time charge q which is coulomb and t or time interval which is second or s so basically current is 
coulomb per second. Okay. Now, commercially, current is referred to as amperage. Kana sa mga aneko na to, dili man nila ginatawag ang current na ampere, ah, uh, kanang current. Dili gina ginatawag na current, ang current. Huh? Okay. So, yes, sa sa mga com commercially in electric uh, co-ops or let's say other mga buildings, mga commercial building buildings, they don't call current current because current is like the scientific name or the science name of current but commercially it is called amperage no so ang anek ang aneko ang tawag nila sa current kay amperage or any electric co op okay now to measure your current of your circuit para makabalo ka on say pila ang current na nagdagan sa imong circuit we have what we call an ammeter ammeter is something like this that on screen no um tanan ba muna ka? oh yeah so this is what we call an analog analog ammeter so the black one here is where you will connect the negative side the negative side of your circuit negative and the red one is where you will connect the positive side of your current or your circuit I mean okay so this is an analog ginagamit na siya sa mga experiments small experiments so this is in milliampere ma so medyo gamay gamay ra ang iyahang um, amperage or current na madetect okay so current is related to the potential difference of the terminals and the permittivity of the path to current Okay, so the permittivity of the path to current. If uh, that is what we call that is what we call resistance. Okay, resistance is resistance R. Resistance resistance A. Resistance is kung gina permit ba sa imohang wire, sa imohang device, ang current na mo flow. Resistance. Okay? Now, current is related to voltage. We know voltage. That is, um, that is potential difference. Okay? Or if na kay duha ka potential. Or say difference nila mo na siya si potential difference or si voltage. Okay. So they are related to each other. Now current is directly proportional to voltage. Current. Kumuta si voltage, muta si current. So resistance is actually inversely proportional to the two or to the current. So pag muta si resistance mo baba si current and vice versa. So they are inversely proportional. Okay. Now do you have, do you know this saying na it is not the voltage oh wait ako na lang siyang iyan it is not the voltage that will kill you but it's the current, uh, no it is not the current that current not hey well that internet anyway so anyway so not the um physics saying that it is not the uh it is not the current that will kill you but it's actually voltage so if you have listen to my discussion in the classroom you know what this is about this is about why birds ngano ang mga birds nga naa sa kuryente nasa kuryente naa sa wires sa imuhang poste be uh, mag search na lang ko gano mag search na lang ko picture ah nara na picture hey okay <laughs> i was very excited Anyway, okay, let's see. Um, oh, there they are. Nope, nope. 
Okay. So. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's say that we have this one. Now, have you ever been curious why the birds, the maski mo patong sila sa mga electric wires, dili or sa mga post, isa ka ng wires sa mga poste, dili man sila makuryente. Or just like this one, dili sila makuryente. Okay, so what, of course, in, within those wires, na magit na sila like kuryente or current that is flowing to those wires. But, nga nung dili man sila makuryentehan. Okay. So that is because of the concept between current and the voltage. Okay, so ako rin na siyang iri discuss. Okay, so current and voltage are not the same. Okay, it is the same. Here we have current flowing. Dako na mga current. Dako ni silag mga current. Okay, so it will be mega mega amperes, okay, tera amperes. Daghan kaya ni sila. Tako kayo. Okay, but looking at those birds, they are un unaffected. No, unaffected. So the reason with that is because even though tako ang kuryente, there is a less voltage. What do you mean by that? Okay. Anisha. Or what not less voltage, but there is no voltage at all. Voltage is what we call potential difference. We have known that since sa to ang discussion sa electric potential. Okay, electric potential. Potential difference ang meaning sa to ang voltage. So there should be two potentials existing para magka voltage ka. Ganun di man siya move. Okay. No. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, I just found two cute pictures of birds. Yeah. Cute. Now, they will help me. They will help me to explain the difference between current and voltage and why birds doesn't... Um, get electrocuted if nasi less a wire okay so here we have two birds and they are both fine even though na nasi less a wirings nga nasa mga poste which is they have lots of currents in it okay so remember the meaning of voltage voltage is potential difference if na kay potential one and potential two say if we have five volts Remember Nino, then three volts, then your voltage is the difference between the two, the two volt. Okay. Now if your birds are in this wiring, the reason dili sila makuryentihan is that is because they have no potential difference. What do I mean by that? Let's say that in this part here, kanishang a wire is your first potential and this second wire here is your second potential since this bird this bird is i saw me distracting kay yung no um since this bird is only in that wire wala siya nagkapyot og laing wire na ara siya nagstay put ana nga wire so that bird is safe because there is no potential difference okay because current always flow to the fastest to the quickest to the shortest way para sa iya ha to nakai current which will represent this yellow para sa iya ha if this is a current wala na need na mohapit siya sa bird Para mo flow diri ah. That is a long way. No? 
and current wants the fastest, the shortest, and the quickest way for them to travel or to flow. That is why, dili na sila mohapit kay bird because it will be a long way for them. So, ilahan na lang labian si bird. So, they just whoop. Ah, uh, nope. So, mo-travel na lang sila sa wire lang. Thus, dili siya makoryandihan ang bird. Because there is no potential difference. Walay laing, um, walay laing maka, let's say, walay laing way na maka flow ang ato ang current, just the wire itself. But, if this, kani siya, Oh no, mobile niya ang half body, Gojo. Um, so pag sila doha, let's say sila doha kay mag holding hands, holding hands, yeah, holding wings lagi, holding wings. Ah oh, no, yung up, no yung lower. Okay, so if mag holding wings sila, now our current have a new way. To flow. So, from here, padalon siya sa bird na yellow, padalon rin sa gray na bird, and then going here. So, that is the time when they touch each other, there will be potential difference, there will be voltage, and with that, makoryentehan sila. Okay? So, if balik na to, Sorry. <laughs> if wala na to, wala na to siya. Pag ibulag na to sila, taram, taram, then they will stay safe. So, stay safe sila. As long as, kana siya nga bird, is dili siya mo tamak sa laing wire, dili siya mo dikit o laing na bird sa other wires, o dili siya, let's say, dili siya mag kapyot uglain na butang while being in that wire. So that is why our linemen in Aneco, in other co-ops or electric co-ops is permi gina sila, gina avoid gina nila na maka maka potential difference. Okay? So whenever they are working on one wire, dili sila mo kapyot ug other wire. Because that will um, make the current flow from the other wire, but the other wire. From wire 1 to wire 2. Okay. So, in theory, yes, in theory, as I have said, in theory, if na itao na mokapyot, in one wire only, <laughs> Let's say, ang tao is mokapyot siya in one wire only. Tao na. <laughs> Dili siya maunsa. And that is because there is only one potential. Pero, if ang tao mulatay, <laughs> mulatay, mukambitay sa lain po na wire, how to, how to draw this? How to draw this? Or both. Ano siya? <laughs> so, if nga na, if they, um, na siya, naguni siya sa isa ka wire, and then sa other wire, then, dire na dayo na masunog na siya, or ma-electrocute na siya. Bam, 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 bam. Ah, that should, that should be yellow. Bam, 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 bam. Okay. Makoryentehan na siya. Ano na? Okay, so that is the reason why, um, if my ex I don't know if you have experienced this, nga nung makoryentihan ta, basta mag touch ta, o ganang mga mag ground galit ta, mag ground ta sa washing machines, sa mga fridge, refrigerator, tapos naka barefoot ka. Okay, so whenever you're handling wirings, you should have at least your shoes, your boots, your electrical boots. 
no dili ka magtiniil and that is because if magtiniil ka natay ginatawag nga grounding so for example we have our ground let's say this is our ground Ta-da! okay so if na i wire dira so na i wire and then na i tao na mugunit anang wire medyo ano na siya okay <laughs> sorry I'm not good in drawing okay so if na tao na mugunit sa wire instead of Imbes ang current, kay mo anhi ba straight lang, mo adto na siya from there, padulong sa wire, padulong sa tao, padulong sa ground. And that is because the ground is another kind of potential. Isa siya ka potential. So, charges will go to the ground and through that man, making the man sunog. Execute siya. Okay. So, that is why you should, if this is only barefoot siya, ha? barefoot siya. Okay. So, that is why you, whenever you're handling electronics that ha, na pwede ka mag-ground anak nila, or if you're handling circuits, electronics, wirings, you should at least wear shoes or slippers. Ano. No, so, para dili ka maka-introduce of another potential making um making a possibility for electrocution no? so that is the difference between the voltage and the current so pwede na naara gyapon si current pero as long as wala voltage you are safe okay now let's go back to this part here Okay, we are we did talk about the relative um the different uh no the relationship I mean the relationship between this three. So current is directly proportional to the voltage and current is inversely proportional to resistance. So um therefore their relationship is what we call the Ohm's law. So Ohm's law, it is the fundament, fundamental relationship between voltage and current together with resistance. So ako, uh, sa Ohm's law, I usually just use the Ohm's law triangle or just the triangle method where V is over IR. Para, um, kunari, you need the V. Kailangan ni ang voltage. So that will be voltage is equal to i multiplied by r now if you need the current that will be voltage over r or divided by r now if you are to find the resistance then that will be voltage over i or voltage divided by i Ano na siya? Ohm's triangle. Okay. So, Ohm's law is important. It is important because it is good for analyzing circuits. No? Predicting the behavior of your electrical circuits. Siya ang mapredict ana. And because of Ohm's law, we're able to um, provide or no, to have circuits in the first place. No? Kay kabaluta, uh, kabalo na taon sa on pag-harness sa electricity or to prove, produce it um, man-made, no? to produce it by man. Pero, dili ta kabalo mo control sa ito ang electricity. We do not know the um, say effect ani niya. Pag ani ang, ang ihatag din mo ng kuryente, what will happen? Ano? But because of Ohm's law, we're able to predict the behavior of electrical circuits na pag 
Ingani ang imong ihatag na kuryente, dapat ingani imong resistance para dili masunog imong circuits. Something like that. So that is why we have house wirings, household wirings. We have commercial wirings, uh, commercial building electrical wirings, school wire, uh, electrical wirings. No? And that is because of the Ohm's law. Okay. So then we will go to the types of currents. Actually, the great types of currents. But I will introduce the two common one. That is the DC. I have already discussed this during the capacitance. You know, sa katong filtering na part. Sa ito ang capacitance. But I will just um, introduce it again. Okay, so we have the direct current. So direct current in a DC circuit, currents flow in one direction only. So, padalong rasha diri. No, padalong rasha diri. Okay, so one direction only. So DC sources are often include, as you can see here, yes, yes, like this. So one direction only. So the sources for DC includes batteries and power supplies, like, you know, the fuel generators, katong mga diesel, diesel ba na? The mga generators, so those are DCs. Okay, then we also have the ACs. So as you can see here, ACs periodically changes their direction. So, naipadalong sa sunod, niya balik na po siya, then, okay, balik na po, dyan siya. Okay, so, pali, lahi-lahi ang iyahang direction, periodically changing. Okay, so, <clears throat> AC is what, uh, what we actually have, or AC power is what really, actually what we have in most households and our com uh, commercial buildings. No, so it is generated by power plants using generators. No, so mga generators na to. Generators like you know wind turbines for wind sources. We have turbines or hydro turbines from hydro sources. Okay, so mga power plants gikan, mga power grids gikan. So that is the AC. The difference between DC and AC. Actually, daghan pa, but this is the common ones. Okay. Next is we have the resistance. I hope you're still with me. Okay, daghan ka yun eh. We have the resistance. So we have two types of actually resistance. We have the resistance that is actually the resistivity of your wire or the resistance of your conductor, conducting wire, and the resistance from your resistors. Which is a device that limits the current. So, do na sila ka buo. We'll go first with what is resistance. So, resistance is, uh -huh. resistance is a measure of the opposition of your material or device offers to the flow of electric current. So, in an electric circuit, resistance is the property of your conductor or your device that causes it to dissipate energy in form of heat. So, syempre, di ba? Um, we have discussed before that energy can only transform, uh, cannot be created nor destroyed. It can only transform from one form to another. So, in here, ang yung electrical energy, si, resisto, si resistance, katong ilang electrical energy transforms it into heat energy. That's why some of kanang kunare gamay kayo ang resistance or let's say ako kayong resistance or oh yeah there talks about resistance usually init ang mga resistors and mga wires that's because of the resistance nagresist ang imong material sa mga current na magflow sa iya and resistance has a unit of ohm so, ohm ang tawag, sa, ang tawag natin sa yaha, and that is its symbol. It's a uh, omega. Omega. Now, in Greek alphabet, that is omega. Yes, that is omega. Now, ohm is in honor of George Simon Ohm, which is actually the one that describes the relationship between the current, voltage, and resistance 
or what we call the Ohm's Law. So, sa iyaha, gi-honor ang resistance na unit. Okay? So, resistance of your conductor, di ba natin conductor na po itong resistor. So, in a resistance that is from the conductor will depend on this following. First is ang length sa ato ang conducting wire. The more na mo taas ang ato ang wire na gamiton or taas ato ang gam wire na gamiton, the higher its resistance. So, it means lesser ang current na mo flow sa iya ha. So, say buhaton ana. So, ipataas niyo yung current para mo flow siya ana nga length. Okay, ana siya. Now, next is the cross-sectional area of the conductor. So, the thicker the conductor, the lower the resistance, the higher the current is na mo flow. Okay? So, that is why naate ginatawag na stranded, stranded wire. Na instead of one solid wire, one solid wire ang uh, sulod, puro mga gagmay sila sa sulod. And usually that is seen sa itong mga electronic device. Nga naman, para dili siya mudaghan ang current na mo-flow sa iyaha. Or ilimit niya ba? Ilimit, ilimit niya ang kuryente na mo-flow ana nga wire. Okay? Next is the nature of your conductor. Nature, the more free electrons they have, the lower the resistance. So, the best conductor is, as I have said before, silver. Next, si copper. But because of how co um, costly si silver, we opted for copper. Okay? So, the nature of the conductor is it. Kani sila magdepende ang resistance sa imuhang metallic conductor or sa imuhang wiring. Okay? So, now we will go to the next one which is our resistors. Sa so resistance nga naa sa atong resistors. We have many types of resistors. First one is, okay, mani sila. Okay, so natay fix, variable, natay photo resist, uh, resistors, natay thermistors, natay memory stores, natay varistors. Okay? So, these are just some, but dagan pa na sila. Kanila ako introduce So, first, we'll go to the fixed resistor. This is something like this. As you can see, um, this is a carbon fixed resistor. As you can see, that na siya mga colors. And those colors are not just for aesthetics purposes. It is not just for design. It actually has meaning. Okay, so I will not dive deep for this, but yes, na asila meaning ana. So fixed resistors have a fixed resistance value that does not change. Fixed nagali. So once na ibutang na ni mo siya sa imuhang circuit, kung unsa ang iyang resistance, maogina siya all throughout until sa dilit na siya mo kana. So this is the symbol for a fixed resistance or a fixed resistor. Pwede siya zigzag, pwede siya rectangle. Either way. Okay. So, this is a carbon resistor, a wire wound. So, wire wound resistors, the more, di ba, ningon ta na, the more longer the wire is, the more, um, uh, the higher the resistance is. So, that is why, nasa yung wire wound resistor. Then, we also have the surface mount resistors, or the chip resistors. Okay. So, Yes, fixed resistors like carbon resistor have these color codings. So, dili na ko siya i div, but yes, they have meanings. Kada color anat niya, or what we call the bands, six band, four band, and five band, they have meaning. And usually, they tell you kung pila ang iyahang resistance. So, ang color anak niya, nag-tell sa iyo mga kung pila ang iyahang resistance. Well, that's what it means. Okay? So, money sila. So, this is the surface mount. So, this is the resistor. Resistor, as you can see, lahi-lahi sila color. And lahi-lahi put ang color sa ilahang band. So, that is our fixed resistor. Next is our variable resistor. Now, variable resistor is 
a resistor whose resistance value can be adjusted pwede manually okay so it is the most common type uh, the most common type of variable resistance is what we a resistor is what we call a potentiometer usually this is what we see in things na pwede natong malisot-lisot or malisot adjust just like a speaker's volume okay so kato siya kato siyang volume up and volume down sa ito ang mga speaker that is actually a potentiometer or a variable resistor so what does it do pag ganahan ka na i-volume up siya iyahang resistor is galesen para mukusog ang atong volume now if ato siyang i-adjust iyahang resistance mudako therefore limiting the current dahil mohinay ang volume. So, yung ana siya ang iyahang concept. Variable resistor. So, this is the symbol for variable uh, resistor na siya ay arrow pataas. It means it changes. Okay? So, this is what a potentiometer is or a variable resistor. So, you can see yung ana siya. That. Usually, sa mga audio players, I think. Yes. Then we have the photoresistors. Photoresistors from the word photo, it is a light sensitive resistor. A light a sensitive resistor or a light dependent resistor, LDR. So these resistors have a resistance value that changes with the amount of light falling on them. Okay, so they are often used in light sensing circuits. So, kabalamuan ng mga lamps or street lamps that turns off when there is light and turns back on if there is no more light so not like mga photoresistors or photosensors in that way okay so they will stop their or they will limit or ipadako nila ilahang resistance if makadetect sila og light therefore wala current na mo flow then, pag wala na light, then diraan na nila ipagamay ilang resistance or something like that. Okay? So, this is actually photoresistor. Kaya siya ang ingani. Ang katong ingani na photoresistor is usually makita siya sa mga Arduino. Arduino kit. For photoresist, uh, for photos or light sensing robots. Ano? So, light sensing robot. Ah, di makita niya sa. Nara. Okay, so this one. Okay, so that is an LDR or a photoresistor. Next is we have the thermistor. Thermistor from the word therm, that is temperature. So these are kinds of resistors na mag-change depende sa temperature. So usually it is used in a temperature sensing or compensation circuits na kan mga tawag na to ano kanang moon ra sya moon ra sya pag tugnaw na kaayo nga na so thermistors we have here the thermistors kane trmb then this is also a thermistor okay so that is a thermistor next is we have the memory store so memory store are a kind of resistors that changes or adjust their resistance depende sa imuhang data sa ilaha or data sa imong paggamit or history sa imong paggamit sa ilaha no so these are relatively new type of resistors and they depend on the history of how you um how you used the current or kanang how current has flowed through them so memory store okay so they have the potential to be used in memory devices like cell phones they have memory devices neural networks laptops they also have memory devices so kanang mga memory devices usually they use memory store okay so this is the memory store kanang dako kayo that is a memory store Next is we have the very stores. Very stores are what we call 
resistors that changes the resistance depende sa voltage. So if the voltage is uh, if the voltage is low, then re their resistance is high. If the voltage is high, then resistance is low. So they are inversely proportional. No? So, varistors are usually very cute or colorful. Mara sila lollipops o mga balloons. Ano? So, this is a varistor. That is a varistor. Okay? Now, I have to introduce this ohmic material. Usinishang ohmic material. So these are materials that kada mutaas ilahang current, mutaas ilahang voltage, or it follows the ohm's law. The best, um, the best example for that are copper and silver or any metal actually or metals. No? Okay, because metals are very good conductors. So that is why if their current or their voltage rises up, their current also rises up. So they are ohmic material. They follow the Ohm's law. But for non-ohmic materials, these are materials that doesn't follow the Ohm's law. Na pag mutaas ilang voltage, sometimes ilang current, dili po mutaas, or mukalitra siyag taas. No? So dili siya... Tawag na to, um, constant ang ilahang pag or ilahang pagtaas sa ilahang current or sa ilahang voltage. Okay. So, these are actually, ang material na ing ani is, are actually semiconductors. Semiconductors and diodes, which are also, also comprises or made of semiconductors, they are the examples of non-ohmic material. Okay. So, I introduce you to you, honey. This is what we call the resistivity. But more emphasis around this resistivity. Tanawa ninyo? Gamay kayo ang resistivity sa mga metals compared sa insulators. Insulators have times 10 raised to positive 14. While the silver or the metals have negative Eight. As you can see here, the lowest con uh, lowest resistance is the silver. The lowest, uh, the lower your resistance is, the more nagina allow ni mo ang current na flow na mo flow. That is why metals are very good conductors. Next to metals, we have the alloys. Then the semiconductors, last the insulators. So insul insulators are not good conductors at all. So silver, as I have said before, 1.47 ang iyahang resistivity times 10 raised to negative 8, much lower than the copper. Okay, so that is why siya ang best conductor. That's why. In terms of resistance, in terms of conductivity. Okay, so now let's go to the electromotive force. EMF for short. EMF is actually the energy per unit charge supplied by a source, such as, you know, your battery, your generator, then to move the charge around the circuit. So EMF is measured in volts, and it is the maximum, maximum potential difference that a source can provide. What do I mean by that? For example, um, the easiest way to say it is, if naakay source and niingon siya og 5 volts siya nga battery, pag naakay circuit og wala kay load, kanang 5 volts, mo na siya ay muhang voltage. Okay? Lahi si EMF, lahi si voltage. Potential difference si voltage. Okay, so, pero, pag naakay load, naakay 5 volts, then, ang kani siyang imuhang resistance or imuhang load will consume 3 volts. 5 volts. 
originally, then nag-consume siya ng 3 volts, then pila ay mga voltage, only 2 volts. Okay? Pero if kung katulag eh, EMF is the maximum potential difference or voltage that a source can provide, if delete niyo siya gamiton, okay? So, 5 volts siya, if delete, wala, wala yung load. But if there's a load na ay mga devices, na ay mga components imong i-add, then magbag o oh, ang imuhang voltage or mag lessen siya or something like that. Okay? Depende sa imuhang circuit or sa imuhang network. Okay? So, EMF is the total energy, amount of energy supplied by a, sur a source per unit charge. So, we have this. EMF is like a pump. Siya, dili siya, di ba, a pump, ka ng pump na to sa water, dili mo na siya tig create water, igor na siya tig push sa water. So, let's say that the water is our current because it's the flow of charges. Now, let's say that we have a resistor which is what we call the constriction. Gipagamay ni mo ang mo flow na water. That is what resistors do. Then we have the valve, which is like a switch. Okay. So, si EMF, iguro na siya tig pump sa si imuhang current. Si imuhang, ka na siya. siya. ang source of EMF, tig pump na siya. Para mo travel ang imuhang current. Okay. So, basically, EMF is Gigan siya sa source, that is the maximum potential difference that you can give to your circuit. While the voltage is the difference in electric potential between two points. So, depende na siya sa circuit. Kung unsay ipangbutang ni mo sa circuit, magdepende imo hang voltage. The more na ihataga or the more na magbutang ka o components, Tapos, i-series pagid ni mo. Diba? Remember sa series na to, lahi-lahi ang ilahang voltage, pero same ang ilahang Q. Okay? So, pag i-series ni mo siya, mugamay gyud ang ato ang voltage. Okay? So, that is the difference between EMF and the voltage. So, I hope you have understand that. Even though, daghan kayo tag na discuss karon or daghan tayo concepts na discuss. So, that will be all for today. Goodbye, everyone.